what do you see? I feel like I'm in a road, on a road. I feel like I'm on a road. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Look around you. Are you is it daytime or nighttime? Daytime? Mm hmm Are you alone or with others? I feel like I'm alone. Mm hmm Look down at your feet. Look down at the ground and tell me. What do you see down there? Can you see that you have a body? No, I can't see, but I, I feel like I do. Okay. So let's let's see how you feel. I want you to just imagine <laughs> that you're hugging your body. And tell me what it feels like. Do you feel like you're a male or female? Female. Female. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're young or you're old? Young. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? 20. Mm -hmm. Now using that same sense, imagine what you're wearing. Dress. Mm -hmm. Always trust your first impression. So is this dress long or short? Long. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about what you're wearing. I feel like Victorian age. Mm -hmm. Long and Lots of buttons and mm -hmm. like boots, just like Victorian. Mm -hmm. Can you get a sense of what you're uh, wearing as far as uh, something on your head? A hat. Mm -hmm. I just feel that I'm not I'm just a, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just trust your first impression. Don't think, just feel just sense. So if you're a young lady wearing this long dress with buttons and all dressed up, what are you doing there? Where are you? Look Walking around. down the street. Mm -hmm. See if you can sense anything about that street. Look down and see what kind of street it is? Does it have anything below you? What are you walking on? Pavement. Mm -hmm. What's it made out of? Concrete. Mm -hmm. And what's around you? I feel like it's my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. My home. Your home. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are there any houses there or buildings? Yes. Mm -hmm. House. Describe what they look like. Are they small or large? I feel like like the homes in New York City. Mm -hmm. Now as you acclimate yourself to that body and to the location where you are, See if you could sense around you if there's any activity. See where you are, where you're going. If anybody else shows up in your scene. I feel like there's someone with me, like a, a young man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you acclimate yourself to that, you can you can describe what this young man looks like or what he's doing there. Who does he feel like to you? I 
your husband? Mm -hmm. hmm. What feelings do you get from him? Love. Mm -hmm. What else? John. Mm -hmm. His name is John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what does he call you? Marie? Mm -hmm. So if I call you Marie, does that feel right to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Marie, where is it that you're going with John? Walking down the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Are you going anywhere in particular? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Are you carrying anything? Uh, just an umbrella. Mm -hmm. So as you walk down the street with John, Marie, what feelings do you get? Happy. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been with John? A long time or short time? Short time. Mm -hmm. Very good. So Marie, I'd like you to go forward in time, in that same lifetime, and go to the place where you live. And tell me what it looks like. Describe what you see. I come in the front door and mm -hmm. see a living room. Mm -hmm. Now you said there was a man in the front door. What was he doing there? I think we're walking in. Mm -hmm. Does he work there? No, I, I think that John and I were walking in mm -hmm. to our home. Okay. Good. Describe what it what you see. Living room, sofa. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else there? He's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a, a baby. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see. <laughs> Is there a baby there? Yes. Mm -hmm. So take a look at your baby very closely. And look into the baby's eyes. Is it a boy or a girl? What do you feel from it? I think it's my daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To look into your baby's eyes and see if it's someone that is in Celine's life now. Do you recognize that baby? It's Ariana. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's take a look at John now and look into his eyes and see if you recognize him as anyone in Celine's life now. Francisco. Francisco. Mm -hmm. Very good. Alright, so let's leave that scene now. Leave that scene. And let's go to another scene in that same lifetime. Close that one behind. And go to another time when something is happening in your lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? I'm sensing a my daughter's wedding, I'm just, I just, that's what I'm feeling, but mm -hmm. I'm not seeing it yet. Okay. Trust your first impression. Your daughter's wedding? Mm -hmm. What's happening? She's so happy. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
tell me everything that happens. She's telling me how happy she is. Mm -hmm. What do you tell her? I'm happy for her. Who's there with you? Let's see, school. John? Mm hmm. Who else? My sister Nubia. Mm hmm. What is she there doing? My sister too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is this wedding? Can you see it though? Is it indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Mm -hmm. Describe what's going on around you. All the guests are there. Mm -hmm. Now, observing this scene, do you feel that in this lifetime, Marie, that you have money? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it that John does for, for a living? Businessman. Mm -hmm. Banker. Mm -hmm, the banker. You feel abundant there? Yes. Mm -hmm. You can have anything you want. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I would think that this wedding would be a very nice wedding, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else in this scene that you notice? Anybody else that you recognize? A son. Mm -hmm. My son. Mm -hmm. How old is he there? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. My son Anthony. Do you recognize anybody else? I think my mother was there too. Mm -hmm. What is she doing here? She's there too. She's she's my mother. Mm -hmm. Good. Helen? Your name is Helen. Okay. How do you get along with Helen? Very well. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so let's leave that scene. Let's close that scene now. Now we're going to go into another important time in that lifetime. Let's find another event in that lifetime. And tell me where you are. I'm in bed. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? An old woman. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel, Marie? 80. Mm -hmm. What's happening to you? I think I'm dying. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're dying from? Oh, I think it's just old age. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your life, Marie. How has it been? Happy. Mm -hmm. What are the thoughts that you're thinking as you're lying there, ready to take your last breath? How different this life was. Mm -hmm. You have a happy life, Marie. So go ahead and take your last breath. And now you're on the other side of it. And from that side, you can see your life from a different perspective. Every life has a lesson and a purpose. What was the lesson of that lifetime as Marie? Yeah. <sighs>
our family. We were abundant and we were happy. Mm -hmm. And what was the purpose of living that life? What were you trying to learn? To be happy, to be thankful, to have less stress in my life, mm -hmm. to watch my children grow, mm -hmm. to be with each other and with their father, no, no violence, mm -hmm. no abuse. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful life. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Marie, looking at that lifetime, you could see the lifetime that you now are having. A Celine, what would you like to offer Celine to help her in this lifetime? Don't stress so much. Love yourself. Find happiness in, in the sheer simple moments of life. Find the miracles in everyday little things. Marie, is there, is there anything that Celine is carrying from you in this lifetime that could help her? Any wisdom that you learned that from yours that she can hold on to? Your children will be okay. You'll love them. That's what they need most. And what would you like to tell her about financial situations? What would you like to tell her about the abundance of life? You can be abundant. Abundance is in your heart. children love you. Let go of the guilt, not giving them what you think they're lacking. The stuff, let go of the, the need to want to give them all the stuff that you think they need. They need you there, present. Giving them your love and your attention is, is enough. Loving them, not stressing so much. Do you have any other words of wisdom that I can All is well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now, Marie, after you left your life, tell me what happened to your spirit. Where did you go? To the light. Mm -hmm. Did somebody meet you there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. John was there. Mm -hmm. Tell me what... what relationship you have with John in the light? He's happy to have me there with him. Mm -hmm. We're happy. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you accomplished what you needed to accomplish? Yes. Okay. Loving my children, being there for them, supporting them. Mm -hmm. So who else is there to to meet you besides Jim? <coughs> I see a, an older woman and an older man. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe grandparents? Mm -hmm. So meet them and see what they have to say. Ask them who they are.
Bernabé, mi abuelita. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell? It's nice meeting her. I've never met her. Mm-hmm. Ask her what she has to tell you. Me quiere mucho. ¿Qué más? Ella quiso a mi mamá mucho con una hija. Pregúntale si te cuida ahora en la vida de su hija. Abuelita, ¿tú me cuidas? Claro que sí. ¿Qué piensa ella de la vida de Celine? ¿Cómo la está viviendo? Tiene que amarse más, amarse a sí misma. Uh-huh. Cuidarse más. Uh-huh. Dile cómo hacer eso. Respetarse más. Mm-hmm. Cuidarse de lo que come. Hacer ejercicio. Valorarse más. Mm-hmm. Y abuelita, ¿quién la puede motivar a hacer todo esto? Ella no tiene motivación, me dice. Yo le puedo ayudar. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo quisiera darle, cómo quisiera ayudarle dándole una señal a ella que estás cerca de ella? Dale una señal. ¿Los pájaros? Los pájaros. ¿Hay alguno en particular? ¿Cardenal? Un cardenal, muy bien. Cuando ella vea un cardenal, ¿es la señal que está cerca? Sí. Muy bien. ¿Eso lo aceptaría? Sí. Muy bien. Ya los ve, ya los cardenales. Uh-huh. ¿Y eres tú? Sí. Uh-huh. Muy bien. ¿Qué más le quisiera decir? Que la quiero mucho. Uh-huh. Que cuide su mamá. Y a sus hermanos, a sus hijos. Muy bien. Respira profundamente. Sea Celine, ¿qué quiere decirle a tu abuelita? Abuelita, la quiero mucho. Nunca la conocí, pero mi mamá, pues, usted la crió como una hija. Ella me platica de usted. Cómo la quiero, la quiso tanto, sus enseñanzas, sus palabras de, de sabiduría. Mi mamá siempre ha dicho que aunque fue muy pobre, pobre siempre le, le dio muchas buenas enseñanzas. Aunque no fue educada, mucha sabiduría. Respira profundamente, vamos a hablar con la abuelita. La abuelita Celine siempre está pensando del dinero. ¿Y qué quiere decirle a ella de eso? ¿Usted tuvo mucho dinero? No, uh-huh. pero fui feliz. Uh-huh. Feliz con tus primas y tu mamá. Uh-huh. Mis hijas. Entonces, ¿cómo puedes decirle a ella sobre el dinero? El dinero viene. No te preocupes, ¿no? Muy bien. Abuelita, ¿tiene algún guía ahí que quiera hablar con Feliz? Sí. Uh-huh. Benjamín. Benjamín. Uh-huh. Benjamín. Muy bien. Gracias, abuelita, por todo lo que ha ayudado hoy. Estamos gracias. muy agradecidos. Muchas gracias a ustedes. Uh-huh. Muchísimas gracias.
Let me speak with Benjamin, please. Hello. Hi, Benjamin. Hello. Can you tell me who you are? The spirit guide. Her spirit guide. What would you like to tell Celine today? That I love her. That I'm with her. I'm always with her. Mm -hmm. Benjamin, she tells me that she's has a lot of sadness. What's causing this sadness? Broken heart. Mm -hmm. From another life. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about that? Poverty. Poverty. Benjamin, can you, would you allow Celine to go to that lifetime now to see what it was? Would it benefit her? Yes. Okay, take her by the hand and let's go through time and space and guide her through that lifetime. We're drifting and through, floating through that time and space. Drifting and floating. And tell me when you're there. I'm there. Okay. Where are you? I feel like I'm an orphan. Mm hmm How old are you there? Ten. Mm hmm Describe your surroundings. The streets. Mm hmm You're in the street you live in the streets? Yes. Are you a boy or a girl? Boy. Mm hmm What do they call you? Pablo. Pablo. Mm -hmm. So Pablo, how did you lose your family? Oh. Have you always lived on the streets? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Pablo, what do you do during the day? Around the streets. Mm -hmm. What do you eat? Trash. Mm -hmm. the trash in the dumpsters. Mm -hmm. Pablo, what do you wear? What are you wearing now? Sandals. Mm -hmm. What else? Tattered clothes. Dirty. Mm -hmm. And what do these streets look like? Look around you. Describe what it looks like. Central South America. Mm -hmm. Busy and loud. Mm -hmm. Many people. Many people. Look on the streets. Are people transporting anything? They're like market. A market. Mm -hmm. How do people move around? What's the type of transportation there? Walking. Walking. Mm -hmm. So you see a lot of people walking. Are there any animals there? Yes, like horses and buggies. Mm -hmm. So what happens now, Pablo? I'm looking at the busy market and mm -hmm. people coming up and down and the fruits and just the different mm -hmm. the vendors. How do you feel? Hungry. Mm -hmm. Sad. So what do you do about this? What happens next? I have like a little bit of money to see myself with some coins and eating an orange. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it is that you obtain your coins. 
How do you get this money? Cleaning, mm -hmm. sweeping, doing little jobs just to have enough to get by. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pablo. I want you to leave that scene and go to the place where you where you sleep at night. Are there children? Mm -hmm. Where are you? Some old building. Mm -hmm. Just abandoned building. Is it just children that live there? Yes. Are there any adults there? No. So where do you sleep? On the floor. On the floor. And how many children are around you? Oh, several. Three, four. Mm -hmm. Are these children related to you? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You just get together to sleep there? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does it feel when you're sleeping there? Do you feel safe? I think that we feel safe together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you always come back to this building or do you go other, to other places? I think we come back to sleep here. Yeah. And we, we do little jobs throughout mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. Take a look at the children around you and look into their eyes and see if you recognize any of these children that are in Celine's life. I don't think so. All right. Javier? Javier, I don't know. I just got to be mm -hmm. one of my other friends. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let's leave that scene now. Close it behind you. Then we're going to drift and float until you get to another scene where you're older. Something is happening in that life. Something significant has just happened. Tell me where you are. I think I'm like a young man, like in his 20s. Mm -hmm. How are you dressed now? Regularly, not mm -hmm. not tattered clothing, just regular clothing. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there? I feel better. I feel like I made it mm -hmm. on my own. And I feel okay. So where are you? I think I'm still in that that market, but I I don't feel hungry anymore. Mm -hmm. I feel like I I made it, and I walk these streets, but I don't feel fearful. I feel confident. Mm -hmm. And how is it that you earn a living now? I feel like I'm going to work at a newspaper office. Mm -hmm. What do you do there? Help in publishing the newspaper. Mm -hmm. What else? Tell me more there's, there's, a, there's a man there. I, I think he helped me. Mm -hmm. I see him as an older man, kind of like a mentor. Mm -hmm. Jose? Mm -hmm. That's his name? Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like he's he helped me. Okay. So tell me more about yourself. I feel appreciative towards Jose, he's older man. I feel like he took me in and I did well. I feel like I I have a job. I feel confident. I feel successful mm -hmm. in the sense that I don't feel alone. I don't feel hungry. I have a job there. Very good. 
overcoming. I feel well that I overcame homelessness and that I'm with someone who cares for me. Mm -hmm. Who show me that he's he's there for me. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene behind and now we're going to another time in that same life, Thomas Pablo. Moving forward until we get to another appropriate time and place. I feel like I'm getting married. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Lucinda. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. Tell me more about this woman, Lucinda. How do you feel? I love her. She's warm and caring. I feel complete now. Mm -hmm. Look into her eyes and see if you recognize her in the life of Celine. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But you feel happy? Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's close that scene and move forward again. Another significant day in the lifetime of Pocket. Having this child, he feels like he has, he feels complete. He feels like he has his family. Mm -hmm. Having a son. So, Pablo, how do you feel about that? Good. Mm -hmm. Jose Manuel, after Jose. Mm -hmm. You named him after your mentor? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very proud. Is he like a grandfather figure? Yes. Very good. Anything else from that? Same that's significant. Overcoming homelessness and poverty, finding joy. Although I don't have my parents, I have Jose, mm -hmm. Lucinda, and Jose Manuel. Very good. So let's close that scene behind and go drifting to another important day in that lifetime. Tell me where you are. My Billy bit my deathbed. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? 74. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? Just all day. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? No. I think Jose's gone, but Jose Manuel is there. Mm -hmm. So is Lucinda, and they're holding my hand. Mm -hmm. So as you lie there on your deathbed, what are the things that are going through your mind? What are your thoughts? This was a good life, happy life. Difficult at first, a little bit lonely, sad, but I feel well. Mm -hmm. Okay, take, a, take your last breath, and now you're on the other side of it, and tell me what happens. Floating. Mm -hmm. Where, do you, where, where yes. do you go? To the light. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone there to meet you? Mi abuelito Elias. My father's father. Mm -hmm. Does Elias tell you? Gusto, mucho gusto verte, mijita. Te quiero mucho. Elias, ¿qué te parece la vida de Celine? Es una joven muy 
muy buena, con muy buen corazón. Uh-huh. Elías, ella me ha dicho que, que se siente triste a veces, que no tiene suficiente dinero, no sabe lo que quiere hacer en la vida. ¿Qué quiere decirle sobre eso? Dios está contigo. Dios siempre está contigo. Él nunca te ha dejado. Tú tienes que ser fuerte, valiente, luchadora. Respira profundamente. Se hace linda, habla con tu abuelito. Abuelito, lo quiero mucho. Gracias por estar aquí. ¿Quieres preguntarles algo a tu abuelito? Se siente bien, tu abuelito. ¿Qué dice? Muy bien. Sus pensamientos sí están claros. No está sufriendo de su confusión. Está bien, mi tío está ahí. Mi amigo Peter. Están juntos ellos dos. Uh-huh. Él ya no sufre. ¿Quiere uh-huh. decir algo, Peter? Sí. Uh-huh. Mi hija, I love you. Sorry that you had to witness what you witnessed. I love you and your sisters so much and your father. Take a deep breath in, be Celine. What would you like to say to Uncle Peter? I'm sorry that you that you had such an awful death. Sorry that you weren't there for your daughters. I see them and I know that they have that emptiness in their heart. And Jody and Carmen. I am happy though. I think you are happy too, and that they finally have met or have known, have communicated. Mm-hmm. And they didn't know each other, so I know he's happy with that. Okay, take a deep breath in. Can be Uncle Peter. Uncle Peter, what would you like to tell Celine about your death and about how you feel now? I'm at peace. I have forgiven him mm-hmm. for what he's done. I need you to forgive as well. Peter, what was the reason that you died so young? Just the way it had to be. Mm -hmm. Were you done with your mission? Yes. Mm -hmm. You left your body behind. Where did you go? Did you stay around? Watch the family. Why did you go out to light? I went to the light. Mm-hmm. From heaven, I can watch over my daughters. Mm-hmm. Are you connected with them still? Yes. Okay. When you connect with them, or is this something that benefits them? Does it hold them back? It benefits them. Good. Good. All right. So let me connect now with Celine. Take a deep breath in. Celine, what would you like to tell your Uncle Peter now that you know how he's feeling? That I will forgive. Mm Mm-hmm. This person who harmed him. And I will let go of those memories, Mm -hmm. all the memories. Take a deep breath in. I want you to feel all of that resentment that you had, all of that hatred, all of those emotions that you had towards the person who harmed and killed Peter. I want you to take like a vacuum cleaner 
and suck them all out of your body. And I want you to imagine now that those feelings turn into blackbirds and they float out of your chest and into the sky. Allow them to fly away. Don't allow any of them to stay within your body or soul. Any of them left chirping away, pecking away at you. Release them out of your heart and let it go. Let them go up to heaven to be healed themselves. And tell me how you feel. I feel lighter. Mm -hmm. There's no reason to hold any longer. Is there anything else that you would like to tell your Uncle Peter? That I love him. Mm -hmm. What does he say back? He loves me too. Very good. Is there anything else that your abuelito would like to tell you? Thank you for shopping at Kmart. <laughs> That's what is this little catchphrase. Mm -hmm. We would leave his home. We would leave the house. It was his way of saying goodbye. Very good. So he, he still has the same humor. <laughs> yes. Blow him a kiss. Say goodbye. Adios, abuelito. Lo quiero mucho. Okay, take a deep breath in now. And we're leaving all of them to go back to where they belong. I know that you could have brought forth many different lifetimes for Celine to see today. And the first one that you showed her was one of Victorian time as Marie with her husband John. Why did you show her that lifetime? To show her that she has been happy and she questions her happiness mm -hmm. in this life that she states that there's so much suffering, so much pain, mm -hmm. and she has been happy alongside her two children mm -hmm. and Nancy schools, John. Mm -hmm. Good. I think that she holds resentments toward resentment towards him. Why is that? He's caused her pain, mm -hmm. but he's also caused her happiness, too. Mm -hmm. So we have a balance. Yes. What would you like to tell her about Francisco? He has shown you what it's like to feel pain. Mm -hmm. And this experience of him being gone is a way for you to empower yourself, that you can raise these two children by yourself. And that although he's not there, he still loves them. And that you can, that Celine can accomplish her financial goals and her goals in life to be there for them. Mm -hmm. Is he supposed to continue in her lifetime? <sighs> not so much. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think that when the children are older and they're able to understand everything that has happened, mm -hmm. they're they're welcome to to want to look for him and build that relationship with him. But Celine, she's done. Good, good. And you also showed her the life of Pablo. And her guide, Benjamin, said that it broke her heart in that lifetime. Can you explain that? She was lonely. Mm -hmm. Not having her parents there, living the streets. She had a broken heart, sadness. Mm -hmm. But this person, Jose, has shown her that she can't trust others. 
that although he was sent to her or his biological father, that there are people there that you can trust that support you and are there for you. Mm -hmm. Is this Jose anybody in her life now? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Do you have anything else to say about those lives that we saw? The first life had abundance, mm -hmm. financial abundance, as well as abundance in relationships. And she lived well. Marie lived well mm -hmm. with her husband, John, mm -hmm. and her two children. Celine can be content that they had their father there. And this life may be difficult that she has now, but it's different experience, different learning. What is she supposed to be learning? That she can do it. She can do this by herself. She needs to know that she can be both mother and father to, to her children to empower her and that don't value your life with things and, and status that you need to be there and connected and be present and be there for your children that's all they need that's the most important thing mm -hmm. unconditional love yes mm -hmm. She asked the, the big question, what's her purpose in life? What did she come here to do this time? To love unconditionally. Herself and others. Is she doing a good job of it? She holds up lots of, lots of judgment. Mm -hmm. Not just to, towards others, but herself. Where is this judgment coming from? Can you rephrase the question, please? Well, you say that she's holding a lot of judgment right now. Where is it coming from? Her mistakes in life. Mm -hmm. So she's punishing herself for those mistakes? Yes. Okay, what would you like to tell her about those mistakes? Mistakes are life experience. Everyone makes mistakes. We all do. Mm -hmm. We live and we learn we do better and those experiences give us wisdom well, life lessons yeah she now that you say wisdom she wants to help herself um, get herself on the spiritual path and obviously that takes some wisdom how can she do that to help herself on the spiritual path love herself mm -hmm. faults and all <laughs> pounds and everything else that goes with it don't judge the person in the mirror yes mm -hmm. don't judge yourself so harshly when she looks in the mirror and she thinks about herself what she should be thinking love yourself no matter what so what, you had 50, 60 pounds on your frame? The weight is not, is not you. You are a, a soul, a beautiful soul who loves your children. You need to love yourself too. What happens when she starts loving herself? She'll let go of the weight, mm -hmm. have forgiveness for herself. Is that weight on for a specific reason? Protection. Mm. We had the analogy when we were talking about the, the hockey pads. 
it seems to me that she may be arming herself with a lot of extra padding for protection. Is this true? Yes, very mm -hmm. much so. Where is this where is this protection coming from, or the need for protection coming from? Feeling of unworthiness. Mm -hmm. Low self esteem. Low self worth. Mm -hmm. Feeling like a failure. Mm -hmm. Well, as her, as her higher self, is that true? No. Well, she's not a failure. Tell her what she needs to hear. Love yourself unconditionally. Love yourself even though you make mistakes. So what? Try again the next day. <laughs> Love your children no matter what. Well, talking about spirituality, she wants to move in a more purposeful direction. She wants to know what her superpowers are, what modality she should be moving into. What would you like to tell her about that? Mediumship. Mediumship. Mm -hmm. How does she develop that? Or does she have it? She has it. Mm -hmm. She's just too worried about all the other stuff. Her focus is all over the place. Mm -hmm. Searching and looking. Trying to figure it all out. Trying to make it all fit into place. Mm -hmm. So, as a medium, is this how she could be of service to others? Yes. Mm -hmm. Should she be doing hypnosis also, or life coaching work, or just sticking with mediumship? I think she will learn many different tools mm -hmm. in helping others. Which one do you feel, as her higher self, that she should first look into? Mediumship. Mediumship. Okay. So while we're doing this session, would you please focus on her pineal gland and start opening that for her? Yes. Thank you. She has questions about her relationship. Why she has such difficult relationship with men. Don't seek approval of others. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. Be more confident. So we need to work on our self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Loving yourself. Starting there. Building your confidence. Would she be able to get any spiritual help with this? Yes. Who can you send to help? Or who is the one who helps her? Archangel Michael. Okay. Her courage. Mm hmm Mother Mary. Mm hmm For motherly strength and love and compassion and patience. Mm hmm Patience is a big one. <laughs> mm hmm What else? Who else can help her? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the the one who shows her faith. She needs more of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. She needs all of these. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she could call on, on them for that. Yes. Terrific. Has she met her soulmate yet, or will she be meeting them? She has not met his, mm -hmm. her soulmate. Mm -hmm. He will come later. Later. So does she need to focus on that at all? No. Okay. Right now, herself and her children mm -hmm. and her work. 
for spiritual gifts. Wonderful. She asks if anybody in this life, her friends or family, are in her soul group. We had seen a few in her life as Marie. Who else is there in her soul group? Moses. Mm -hmm. Who was he to her? The husband. Ah, okay. That's why she feels the closeness? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is his role in her life now? We need to let go, let go of people. We may love them, mm -hmm. but we need to let them go. People come and they go. He served his purpose. So let him go. Let him go. Okay. Good. You could still love him, care for him, but let him go. People come and they go. Mm -hmm. Does she have any attachment to him? Any yes. metaphys physical attachment? Yes. Okay. Can we disconnect that attachment today? Yes. All right. So tell her what you'll be doing to disconnect her from him. Walking in her, her chakra. Mm -hmm. Tell her what, she, what you're doing so that she can get a visual. Using pink light mm -hmm. to disconnect the cords with him. Mm -hmm. I love you, but I release you. Wonderful. Good. We had a question, but I think it's been answered about Peter. She asked whether Peter was a was Ariana. Ariana's purpose in the connection is to help Celine heal. Mm -hmm. Heal those traumatic wounds. Mm -hmm. And how is she doing today as far as those wounds now that she has talked with Peter? She's doing well. Mm -hmm. We released all of those? Yes. Great. Do you have anything else to say about Ariana? I feel that she has a deep connection with Ariana. Ariana is an old soul, mm -hmm. very wise. Celine not only is her mother and instructs her, but Ariana also teaches her so much. Mm -hmm. Love unconditionally. Love others, even if they are different than us. Not to have so much judgment towards others. To have a good connection with my children. To be there present, connected, conscious. Is she learning from Mariana? Yes, it's Mariana from her as well. Wonderful. She asked me what occupation she should pursue. We were talking about mediumship, but she also probably needs a job. She should pursue her master's mm -hmm. and pursue her clinical social work. Mm -hmm. And she told me that she had been working with children and it was too much for her as far as the time. She can work with adults. Mm -hmm have the regular eight to five. Mm -hmm. And also, I feel it would be very beneficial for her to use heal different alternative healing modalities, mm -hmm. some of these other skills that she will develop. Yes. Anyone in particular? The hypnosis. Mm -hmm.
Is that why she has been drawn to have this session today? Yes. What else would you like to tell her about her career? It will come. It will it will develop into what it needs to be. Mm -hmm. What about the location? She was talking about city versus rural. The people will be guided just like you have been guided to Elba. Mm -hmm. The work of Dolores Cannon all these different healing modalities. The people will come. Mm -hmm. We will bring them to you. Spirit will bring them to you. Be it in the rural area or in a city. Spirit will provide. Mm -hmm. It will open the doors. Did Dolores have anything to do with Celine coming to this session today? Yes. Does she have anything to tell Celine today? Pursue this work. It will bring you great fulfillment. You will feel very pleased in helping others. You will feel accomplished in your life's purpose. Very good. Thank you. Anything else as far as money is concerned? El dinero va a venir. El trabajo, pero lo importante ahorita es que Selene esté bien, que su familia esté bien, que se eduque y que aprenda todo lo que necesita que aprender mm -hmm. para poder ayudar a los demás. ¿Con quién estoy hablando ahora? Abuelita. Abuelita, gracias abuelita. Abuelita, ¿tú eres guía de, de ella? Sí, claro ah. que sí soy. Muy bien, gracias. Agradezco toda la ayuda que, que le pueda dar hoy día. De nada. Mucho uh -huh. gusto, lo hago con mucho gusto. Muy bien, déjame hablar con su yo superior. Would you please do a body scan on Celine? And tell me when you're done. Work needs to be done mm -hmm. in her thoughts. In her thoughts. Racing too many thoughts. Racing thoughts? Just over stress and over, fine, just over everything. Mm -hmm. Just She's over the top. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So what can we do to begin that work today? I know that you can rewire her. We work on the, the thoughts mm -hmm. and lessen her sadness. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her about that sadness? I did not allow her to use the word that she's been using. Yes, depression. Mm -hmm. So you're that. a person who feels immensely. You are not depression. You are at times a very jovial, very funny, extremely happy person and you are human and you have moments of sadness like all humans do. So yes, you feel immensely the highs and the lows, the sadness and the happiness and that's just who you are. That is part of being an empath. You just need to work on grounding yourself. How can she ground herself better? Set in the intentions with prayers, protective light. Mm -hmm. Working with crystals is good. Mm -hmm. Any crystal in particular that she should be working with? Rose quartz, mm -hmm. amethyst, black tourmaline. Mm -hmm. Green of entering. She should continue to wear her new light bracelet. Okay, it will help her? Yes. Mm -hmm. The Sorcerer's Stone. Okay. Can you tell her about the diabetes? Hmm. 
was causing that fluctuation in her sugar. Lacking self-love. Mm -hmm. You've been talking about that the entire session. It's an issue that she definitely needs to work on. Mm -hmm. One of the main issues for her in this life, self-love. Mm -hmm. Why did she choose this thing? This is a way to stop the stress eating. Mm -hmm. Just eating whatever she wanted to eat. Mm -hmm. She needs to be careful what mm -hmm. she eats. Mm -hmm. Eat better, better foods, make better food choices, and get more exercise. Mm -hmm. Any exercise in particular? Walking. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that she's drinking that she should not be drinking or vice versa? Less diet soda mm -hmm. or water. She should be drinking diet soda at all. Probably not. Mm -hmm. So what can we do today to eliminate that craving? Can you work on her on that? Yes, I can work on that. Okay. And who can she call on when she is thinking about what she should be choosing to eat to help her? Archangel Sandifon. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that Archangel. That's the first angel she connected with. Mm -hmm. She has many angels. Mm -hmm. And what does Sandifon do for her? Helps her in making choices, mm -hmm. the earthly choices, mm -hmm. the common choices. Mm -hmm. What should I eat? Should I do this? Should I do that? Mm -hmm. Is it like a higher level guide about that? Yes. Okay, about her bodily bodily mm -hmm. functions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does Sandafon have anything to tell Celine today? Music therapy? Mm -hmm. She loves music. So listen to more music? Yes. Any particular kind? No. Whatever she likes? Yes. So she should, she would like to learn to play an instrument. Mm -hmm. She should pursue that. Wonderful. Any instrument in particular? Piano or guitar? Okay, a stringed instrument? Yes. Okay, good. We talked about weight before, so she can't lose it. How can you help her with that? I will help reduce the cravings. Okay. She has cravings for carbohydrates, mm -hmm. breads, all yeah. the bad things that she's not supposed to be eating. Mm -hmm. I can help her with that. Okay, because that, that does stimulate the appetite. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Um, she asked about uh, maybe connecting with Jesus or Mo Mother Mary today. Mm. Would you allow that connection? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who can we bring forward today for her? Mother Mary. Mother Mary, okay. So let me know when Mother Mary is there. I am here. Thank you very much for being here today. What would you like to tell Selene today? That I love her. That I am always with her. That she is a good mother. Although she is very hard on herself. Her children know that she loves them so much. Mother Mary, how is it that you help Selene? I guide her in her motherly instinct, motherly love towards her children. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you do for her? I watch over her. Mm -hmm. 
and decisions she makes regarding her family. Good. Take a deep breath in and be Celine. What would you like to tell Mother Mary or ask her? Thank you, Mother Mary. Thank you for being there with me and with my family and my children. Mm -hmm. I know I need to work on my patience and less stress, less worry. And I thank you for being there for me. Okay. I know I need to be in the present moment. And I believe what you tell me, be here now, is very important. I need to be present in the moment. Thank you. Is there anything you would like to ask her? I would like to ask her to help me in accomplishing these goals so that I may find the happiness that my children and I deserve as well as the soulmate relationship. I think that would make me feel more complete mm -hmm. Take in a, my family. Take a deep breath and let me speak with Mother Mary. What would you like to tell Beck? Your soulmate will come once you feel better about yourself, once you feel more loved, like you love yourself more, you love your children more, and you love yourself, and you accomplish the, the goals, the health goals, and the weight goals, and you feel well, he will come. Thank you very much, Mother Mary. Thank you. Let me speak with the higher self again. Thank you for allowing that communication. Thank you. Is there anything that Jesus would like to tell someone today? Love yourself. Love others. Love unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in and be Celine. What would you like to ask or tell Jesus? I'd like to tell Jesus thank you. Thank you for his love and for his support. Mm -hmm. And I wish to increase my faith and be more like him. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath and let me speak with Jesus. And so it is, and so it will be. Thank you very much. Is there anything else that you would like to say today, either to Celine or to anyone else? Alba, the work that you're doing is touching many lives. You are being led to do many great things and help many people. We love you. And we appreciate all that you're doing for yourself and for others. The work that you're doing is wonderful work. God work. Miracle work. Un trabajo muy bonito. Que va a tocar muchas vidas y muchos corazones. Mucha gente por todo el mundo. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank you for your guidance and for the souls that are helping me with this work and bringing me the, the people who I can help Thank to be you. an instrument of God. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me speak with Celine's higher self again. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you let me know if uh, how the health of Celine's aura is? I think that with all her stress, it's weakened. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's there, but it's it's weakened. Mm -hmm. Can you fix that for her? Yes. Okay. Let me tell her what you're using. Purple light. Okay. Working on her third eye chakra. Mm -hmm. Her heart chakra. Rose quartz light. Okay. Pink light. Are they in balance? Yes. Okay. Let me know when 
Я крутой. It is done. Thank you. Would you tell me the reason why you brought Celine to this session today? So she can heal herself and help others heal as well. Mm -hmm. How long will this healing take for her? One week. Mm -hmm. Good. Now we've always recommended, Dolores has recommended that we always listen to the recordings. Would you recommend that? Most definitely. Mm -hmm. How often should she listen to this recording? As often as needed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three times. Okay. Or more. Is there anything that I could have said or asked that I haven't that you would like to answer? So Ling would like to know that life experience when she was very ill as a child, mm -hmm. near death with her fever, almost developed meningitis. Was there a reason for that? Mm -hmm. And what was the reason? Near death, you've chosen. You could have left at that moment. Because life here is so hard. You had your thoughts of leaving this body. And although you find it hard here, you must stay and complete your mission. Although there are so many times you wish you could go back home. And Earth here feels so foreign and so hard. You are here to do the work that you need to do. And all is well. You will be well. Your family will be well. And you will do the work that God wants you to do. Very good. Thank you very much. Welcome back. <laughs> Nice to be back. How do you feel? Wonderful. Yeah? I feel really grounded, really heavy in mm -hmm. my abdomen. Mm-hmm. Must be, the, is it the solar plexus chakra mm -hmm. with the area mm -hmm. of finances and yeah. Yeah, you worry are, and all that? That feels grounded. It feels heavy. Uh-huh. Is that a good feeling? Yes. Excellent. So what do you remember? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> How did it feel being in hypnosis? Um... It felt good. It felt mm -hmm. good. The ego wants to meddle and say that it's not, you can't do this. <laughs> you can't do this. Uh huh. Good thing I warned you about that. Huh? Yes. <laughs> uh huh. And how long do you feel you were in this, in this journey, on this journey? Mm, an hour and a half? Yeah, perfect. Exactly an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Yeah. We got to talk to a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of personalities there. Your oh, uncle, yeah. your, your grandparents? Yeah, each grandparents from each side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Good. Really good. Make you feel good? Yes. I never met my great grandma, so my mom was raised by her as mm -hmm. her mother. So and she gave you really good advice? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do you Once. recommend this experience to others? Most definitely. I think it's very important in one's healing mm -hmm. and to move on and do what we're meant to do here. Mm -hmm. what we've come to do. Well, stumbling blocks along the way, but I think this is great mm -hmm. in uh, facilitating the healing. Yeah. How did it feel yeah. to be in those lives? <sighs> happy and sad. Mm -hmm. All those emotions. Yeah. To be a happy mother and to feel happy with someone who I had always associated with pain. Yeah. So now you can see something different. Right. Mm -hmm. You see the lesson in it. Right. To see my children happy and mm -hmm. then to be the homeless child. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But he succeeded. Right. He made good people supporting him and he did well. Great. So is this something that you would want to share or keep private? Oh, I can share it. Mm -hmm. cool. Definitely. Good. Excellent. Anything else? No. I have, this is a wonderful experience. Hi, my name is Alba Wyman. I'm here in Oklahoma City doing some sessions. And we had a really beautiful experience talking with the higher selves, the guides. And if you would like to have an experience like this, just go to albawyman.com. Thank you very much, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.